You're not allowed to do anything without being recorded. I'm not really doing anything yet. <laughs> Preparing myself to do stuff. It's a little bit warm. Time to finish the table. It's finally that time of day where it's cool enough to do something. Um, we've just had our Portuguese lesson with the lovely Adriana on Zoom. Um, and now we're ready to crack on with a little bit of work. We were able to get the other piece of wood for the table Yuan's building. Uh, so we're putting that together and then we're gonna try and clear up the mess here and um, have a bit of a sort out and make a nice nicer outdoor area. Hey, what? Why are you cutting that one then? Because we decided they were going to be 75, not okay. 80. Okay. Sit on that. That's 75. So it's basically where it is at now. Yeah. What do you reckon? Works, doesn't it? Yeah. That's a really nice drawing. Yeah. Yeah, taking five centimeters. So there's this funny contradiction with me and Yuan is when it gets cold I'm like right we can do stuff and Yuan's like right let's get out of here yeah. <laughs> um, let's go get pizza yeah there's one word he can suggest that will make me agree to get off the land and that is pizza if, if you've been watching us for a while you will know we love pizza Waiting for us. morning hopefully you can hear me better now <laughs> yeah it's funny usually you and is up way earlier than me i am such a big sleeper normally but in the summer i've just been getting up earlier and earlier because i just need that cool time in the morning and it's just just a really beautiful time of day as well um so today we're going to try and get the table finished and do some more clearing of the outside area um, which we'll take you along for. So, so, good morning. 
Good morning. Hello. Good morning. So the extra wood we bought is like a pre-treated outdoor one. So we're going to have a different coloured leg, but we're going for a you know a rustic vibes. I don't know if you can hear the golden orioles. They're very difficult to spot, but they're up in the in the uh, oak tree. like this every morning it's like a racket of bird song I say racket it's beautiful it's one of our favorite things about the place so I'm just gonna make myself some toast and I thought I would show you how we do make toast with this crazy but brilliant contraption So I've just been and got some uh, rocks from down by our cork oak and I'm going to make like a little flower bed here and clear some of the grasses and maybe there's some, maybe I'm going to clear these mimosa trees here as well. What are you up to? Finding screws. <laughs> and many boxes of screws that we have. <laughs> drilled one of the little bits and got one of the legs on so I'll show you a bit of that and then I guess I'll show you when it's done fingers crossed just like that the drill battery has run out of steam so I'm gonna put the Jenny on and charge up and do some sanding the drill is charged so this is where I'm up to with the bed I found a basil plant that wasn't doing very well in its pot so I've popped him in there too and then just put down this wood chip from our paths because Albie Cat loves to dig in fresh compost and then next I'm just going to try and clear some of this from the front door of the barn see how I get on So this is where I've got up to with clearing up the doorway and it's one of those jobs you start and you realise really needs a lot of time dedicated to doing it but it's nice to have a bit of a vision of what it will hopefully eventually start to look like um, 
you know, with a, a new door and the wall all pointed and a nice floor and we'll, we'll be turning this into a veranda. So that's where we're up to, but it's such a beautiful stone that we've got all along here. Someone wants some leftover pizza. Sausage roll. <laughs> Frankie speak. <laughs> Louder. <laughs> Albie this morning was absolutely filthy and uh, she's not cleaned herself up yet and I think it might be from the from a car or something. Mm, it smells like oil, so I don't know she's found out. She's enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That spa day for Albie. See these are all the metal things we're finding in the in the wall. Can't Just this one, wedged in. And she just found a light bulb wedged into the wall. It's not coming out there. I wonder if it works. Mm. <laughs> There's also lots of plants growing out of the wall and they're really hard to uh, get out because the roots are going so far in and coiling in and they're They've obviously been there a while, being cut and then grown again, so the actual like main stem is, is like super thick, like this one. So I have to get some stronger tools than my fingers to get them out, I think. So this is where we have got up to at the end of today. There was a hot break in the middle, <laughs> um, but we've had a good tidy up. And it's kind of, you know, what I had envisioned was this really nice place to just hang out of an evening or have breakfast. And it's only going to get better. Um, but yeah, here's Yuan's beautiful table and beautiful Yuan. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're just going to have a glass of wine or a beer and we've started eating peanuts like they give us at our local pastelaria so no lupin beans though <laughs> they look beautiful behind the flowers <laughs> <laughs> So we heard some mewing and uh, this little black kitten, who is clearly very hungry, uh, was up at the top of our road. I think it was, it's been born at our neighbours and she's not been to visit today and he's obviously struggled to find something to eat. But our cat Albie does not like other cats, I think she's a bit territorial after being uh, <laughs> after us rescuing him and she's like, nope, they're my family. So we've had to put her in the house so we can get some food, but he's absolutely beautiful. And very skinny. And very skinny and very friendly. <laughs> she's just in the tree there. Okay. <laughs> You're looking good girl. She's <laughs> just 
first thing I'm pulling like this. Good morning! Bon dia! It's the next day. Um, <laughs> I've just walked the kitten back home. <laughs> um, we put Albie in the house last night, as we normally do, to try and deter any any rodents. Uh, which she's not very good at. I yelled. Not very good at all. <laughs> um, and we left the kitten outside, hoping he would find his way home. But... Um, <laughs> <laughs> he was still here <laughs> this morning and when I let Albie out she just <laughs> ran <laughs> out to beat him up. Um, yeah, she bullies the hell out of it. Yeah, so as much as we would love to uh, to keep him, I don't think she's very happy about it. So I walked him home and he purred all the way and walked with me and he's very cute. Mm -mm -mm. But, no. Yeah. So our neighbours have lots and lots of feral cats, so we're assuming that that's where he's come from, because mm. there is other black cats as well. Well, I seen um, a couple of months ago they had like loads of really small little kittens, and a couple of them were black ones, so we think it's him. He'll probably come back, because he was very <laughs> happy here. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I guess we'll make another decision if he does come back, because <laughs> he needs neutering and stuff like that as well. And yeah. He was so hungry, bless him. Yeah. Um, we kind of don't want to add to the feral cat issue around here. Yeah. And we like cats a lot. We do like cats a lot, but not <laughs> thousands of them. <laughs> well, maybe, yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyway, that is the end of this week's video. We're sat at our lovely, lovely table. table. Which is still standing. Still standing. <laughs> <laughs> For now. It's so nice having such a big table. We can have lots of dinner parties now, <laughs> pizza parties, um, but yeah, hopefully next week we may have some big news. We may have next that door, you pretty much know about, yeah. <laughs> but we are not holding our breath as always. Summer in Portugal is a very slow time. Yeah, understandably we're yeah. very slow too, so yeah. we're not in a huge rush, but yeah, that's it, we're off to house sit for our friends Ken and Gina today which means we can use their shower <laughs> <laughs> because last time I was washing my hair here the battery cut out so I'm very excited to go have a proper shower <laughs> but yeah thank you for watching and we'll see you next Saturday bye, bye.